After finishing my bachelor degree in Iran, I came to United States. Went to the University of Oklahoma and studied uh, my master's in computer science and then PhD in computer science. I had heard about the uh, UACL. And those days, the ACM, the Association for Computing Machinery, in their annual conference, they had this employment register. Those days, there was a big demand for computer science faculty. The main reasons I picked UH Clear Lake, one, that it was close to my relatives, two, its beautiful uh, facilities, campus, small size, and the most important was it was in proximity to NASA. My PhD research was in real-time systems, and NASA would give me an opportunity to apply my research toward a real-world, real problem. After I joined UH Clear Lake, and we started collaborating with NASA, and NASA at the time was in the middle of designing the Space Station Freedom, that's what it was called those days. They had hired lots of employees with bachelor degree. So for that reason, our graduate classes were very large. I've always tried to improve our curriculum. We tried to stay on top of the technology. Anytime a new technology matured, we tried to incorporate it into our curriculum. And also, we tried to prepare our students with, uh, for higher degrees. They wanted to go for PhD or from bachelor to master's, they would have the background to do that. I became a chair of the Department of Computing Sciences after I became associate professor. So we continued improving our curriculum. We uh, were trying to offer programs that NASA was in need of. We developed uh, a master's degree in software engineering, which turned out to be among the the first in Texas and among a few at the time uh, in the nation. And that still uh, is a successful program. I was asked by then provost to serve as interim dean and I served for two years in that position. I have received several grants, starting from large grants, from the state of Texas, Texas Higher Education Coordinating Board, and we started uh, recruiting students, helping community colleges to recruit students for their programs that offered courses toward a higher degree. And after that success, we uh, applied for a National Science Foundation, along with our uh, San Jacinto College campuses jointly. We received a uh, five-year award STEM grant for 1.5 million after an uh, NSF, National Science Foundation grant finished, we applied for U.S. Department of Education grant. And we received 4.5 million from them. And we have supported throughout these years over 50 STEM major students with over $1,000 per month financial support to work for us as a research assistant, work with faculty, as a peer mentors, helping other students to succeed. I am honored, and this is a big honor, to be selected as an outstanding professor by Alumni Association, given so many excellent professors we have in here. So that's really an honor. I'd like to thank, first of all, Dr. McKay, who was my first dean and very supportive of my research. And, and Dr. Houston, who was our division chair, and I learned a lot from him working under him as a program chair. And I applied that to when I became a division chair. And my colleagues, my colleagues have been very helpful and I have enjoyed working with them. UACL is the best place to be for both faculty and students. It's a very friendly environment.